What's up guys, uh, last video is currently rendering, so let's keep pick up where we left off in the second video and start making a game that we can play. Um, important things that we learned last time are just the basics of how to make a terrain, paint it, add trees and stuff like that, um, as well as the standard assets, because I will be using exclusively Unity's standard assets in this video. Um, the first one that we're going to look at, if we go to our assets down here, um, open up the standard assets folder, under characters, we have a few types of characters. First person, third person, and the rollerball. Uh, in this video, we'll just look at the first and third. A first person camera is just from a first person perspective, meaning you're like looking as if you are the camera. If I open that up, <clears throat> I have a few things. I have audio, prefabs, scripts, and this guy. Anytime you see a text document in Unity's uh, standard assets, you should probably read it because this is gonna tell you exactly how to use it. That is how I learned. Um, under prefabs, uh, I have two, an FPS controller and a rigid body FPS controller. Um, I am just bringing in FPS controller because nothing is going to be hitting my character just for the purposes of this basic game. Um, all I got to do now is drag and drop. Um, now, uh, if I just hit play, it should work. Let's find out. Play. And there it is. Cool. So I'm going to use WASD on the keyboard, move with my mouse, and look at that. I have a playable game. Uh, with Unity's basic first-person controller, I can hold shift and sprint. I can hit spacebar and jump. Um, I think that's it. Uh, but pretty cool, like immediately plugging and playing. If I hit escape, I get my, uh, my mouse back, and I can uh, jump out of that game. So let's look at what is happening there. Um, first things first, over here in our hierarchy, under FPS controller, uh, there is a first-person character. That is what we're looking at over here. It comes in with its own camera. That's important because we have... A new camera for the game. That said, let's not confuse our game and let's go ahead and delete our main camera. Right click, delete. Boom. Because now we don't care about our original camera, we have a new camera for the player. <clears throat> also, in here, if I click on just FPS controller, um, just click on it. There we go. Uh, I have a lot of things in here that I can go and play with. Um, I can play with the speed, I can play with the jump speed. Uh, the gravity. I can play with uh, like the head bob. It has that little like movement in there and I can change how much it moves if I want to move at all. Um, these two right here, jump sounds, the, uh, the land sound, the footstep sounds if I open that up. Um, right now my character is walking on grass. If I turn down the volume, uh, it comes in with some footsteps, but like let's say I'm building a snow world. Maybe I want to go and find um, the audio of a footstep in snow and replace these just by dragging and dropping an audio file over. Um, I can play with all of that and completely customize my first person controller. So that's one way to play. Um, that is also the kind of perspective that we will have once we bring these games into virtual reality. Because uh, when you put on a VR headset, you're looking through a first person camera. Um, but we're not moving this into VR quite yet. Let's go ahead and turn off our first person controller. I can turn off anything in Unity uh, without deleting it by just clicking on this check mark here. <clears throat> first person controller is turned off. Now I want to bring in a third person controller, aka a little image of a character that I can uh, run around and now look from the perspective of a third person. Uh, if I go back to characters and my standard assets, third person controller. Once again, I have all these folders here. I can just bring in the model of our boy Ethan right now, but I want more than the model. I want the whole script with the model too, so they have a prefabricated uh, component or a prefab. Once again, text document, read this you learn more than I'm probably going to show right now. Under prefabs, I click on that. I have an AI one or a third person one. We're just using the third person. I drag and drop that. Oh, he's tiny. Let's press F to zoom in on just, on just this guy. Uh, this is Ethan. This is Unity's uh, just plug and play character. Once again, I can uh, click on him and I have a bunch of stuff that I can change here, such as the jump power, the gravity multiplier, similar stuff. But what I do need to denote is that this third person character does not come with the camera. It comes with a cool model, it does not come with a camera. So we need to bring in our own camera now. If I go back to standard assets, <clears throat> they have a few cameras to work with here. Again, under prefabs, text document, you can actually learn. Prefabs, I have a CCT, uh, a CCTV camera, which I haven't really played with, a free look camera that like lets you kind of like move your mouse around and direct, it kind of gets kind of wobbly. Um, handheld camera, which I also haven't played with, but then another prefab of a multi-purpose camera, which is the one that we're going to be using. So if I go ahead and just drag and drop this multi-purpose camera onto somewhere close to Ethan, 
Now I have a camera and you can generally see what that camera is going to see. Now, if I click on the multi-purpose camera rig over here, it is designed to follow a certain target. Right now that target is none. Um, similar to the rollerball game, I can drag and drop one of these guys onto the target and the camera will follow that target, but it's designed to look for something that's tagged as player. So if I click on my third person controller, and then I go over here and tag it as player, that should automatically solve the camera problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and da -da -da. there it is. If I use the same keys, W, A, S, D on the keyboard, Look at that. I have a third person character that I can move around. The, ca the camera kind of pivots itself to face whatever way Ethan is facing. Um, but there we go. I can jump. Um, I think shift with this controller is actually walk instead of run. Um, if you hit C, you can crouch. Um, and there you go. So uh, we now have a third person playable interactive game so far. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show how to create a quick character or model using Adobe Fuse that you can plug in. Um, and then eventually we will look at it actually making our, our, our own character playable. Cool. Thank you for watching.